D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and today I'm going to be resurrecting this unit that's broken this thing is in pieces so I'm going to resurrect this baby right here yeah all the wires is in shambles it's I don't know what's going on here, but uh, got some schematics. And uh, yeah, but before we get into the video, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Um, so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. Subscribe and smash, don't forget to smash the bell icon, all right. So when I uploaded videos like these, you get them right away. Um, so we do have power. As you can see, we have 24 volts power because without 24 volts power, we wouldn't have any lights on these things. Um, I don't see any power on the uh, main controller. Should be some lights right here. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can resurrect this uh, bad boy right here. All right, so. I happen to have one of these uh, thing here that I took from my job. It was an old one. Um, site was demoed, so I got this. As you can see, this is this is not broken, not broken. You know, unlike uh, this one here. But you can run the unit. These units can run without these. This this is just a keypad slash display. So you can run the unit without these. Okay. Alright, so let's get my meter. And we're gonna get into it. So apparently we have 24 volts. Because uh um we're seeing lights in these um relays. So that means there has to be 24 volts. So, but there's no, there's no 24 volts to this thing right here, this controller right here, because no lights. Let's double check. What a mess. What a mess this thing is. Alright, so. Okay, so gotta figure out why there's no 24 volts coming here. I think we're gonna have to refer to our schematic. Oh, that's the first step. I wanna see if I can get the controller to fire up and then see from the display. I'll see what errors or what issues the unit has the unit is going through or experiencing. Um so This is our controller right here, or at least part of it, one section of it. That's G and GO. And it goes back to this MOD. It goes right here. It's a, it's a connection, connection right here. And up here as well. So that's G and GO. That's uh, your power.
Okay, so here we are. MOD one A, MOD A one, MOD A one. Is the MOD A one? We don't need that. We need the C one. MOD C one, MOD one C one, and MOD one B one. C1 and B1, so we got it right here. C1 and B1, so here we are. So we got fuse, we got X2, there's a terminal block, and there's a jumper right there, and there's a fuse here going back to transformer which we have 24 volts there already so see so that it's going to be this fuse right here or or this fuse right here okay this fuse right here because this is the wire we're tracing so this fuse right here or is a jumper here x2 4 and 3 so let's go see 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 so, I'm not testing these sign up on these things. Yeah, I want to see if I can resurrect this bad boy right here. So, here's all your fuses right here. <coughs> and you want to just jump across, check for potential. It's good, rather closed. And uh, if I go from each of these fuses to ground, can I do it? I think I'm not touching properly. I don't know. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's a little difficult. Okay. So I'm on ground. One of my test leads on ground. Let me test the fuse. See, I know this fuse has 24 volts, both sides. So these are the 24 volt fuses. So they are good. I think these are the two fuses that we saw in the schematic. So they are good. Uh, these are things called line voltage. Yeah, line voltage. But they're all closed. Let's just test them right away. Test them while I'm here. Go all close, all good. You know, I'm testing all these fuses because, you know, you know, I'm, I'm up here. So these are the two fuses we saw in the drawing. So they, are, so they are good. They are closed. No potential across them. No potential across them. And. I'm going rather fast, or rather slow, I don't know. You got questions, leave it in the comment section. Okay, so. These are the fuses, they're good. So which means, this jumper right here. The mixing line. X234. And then from here, it brings power over here. C, MOD1, C1. G. All right, MOD, and it comes off of X1, wire 1 or not, wire 109, X1, I mean X2, wire 109. All right, let's go. Uh, all right, so X2, and right there. Yeah, I'm somewhat familiar with this unit, guys, so. You know, I've worked in stores before, so I, you know, I know a thing or two. Not quite an expert, but, uh, you know, so this is X2 right here. Very top uh, terminal block. And three and four. Three and four. Okay, so this is four. 
three is missing. That would be three right there, this is four. So, three, four. And uh, here's your jumper. Here's your jumper. Buried in there. Here's your jumper. Your red, your red, red jumper. You can see it right there. Here it is. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? You see this? Have you seen this, guys? Who did this? Who do, do such a thing? Hmm? Look at that. There's a reason why my controller isn't getting any power. Okay, let's fix that. Let's fix that. So, three, get right on here. These things could be. I think this is probably. It looks feels like it's broken. Is it? it? Is it? I think so. I think this thing is broken. So I'm gonna have to use the other side. If three is yes. Spare one there? Nope. There's no spare one. Uh, okay, guys. So that's broken. So. What I'm going to do here, okay, that's broken, I don't know if you could see it, but it's, it's all messed up. See, it's broken. So I'm going to, this wire I'm going to take out. I'm going to take this one out. Alright, that's how you do that. Pull this one out. And then, this is the wire that comes in. To, uh, to uh, three on this side, one oh seven. So, being that three is broken and there's a jumper between three and four, and four is still good, I'm gonna take this wire here and just put it into four. That's it, bypass the middleman. And I miss this one up. There we go. And in there. So you do that. There we go. Here's the wire here. And before I do this, I'm going to shut down the power. Because I don't want to create any, any more problem here. This wire right here. So, pull this out. And we're gonna find four, which is, I could do either side, but I'm gonna do it on this side. Then all the space here, so here it is. It's four. <coughs> Push my screwdriver in there. Wire right here. And, uh, wire into the hole. Okay, so you saw what I did. So there's a jumper, I removed the jumper. Alright. Alright. My controller is alive now. Now I'm gonna plug in my my keypad because you know that's broken. And we have no display. No worries. I could fix that. I could fix that. 
but we are green, we have power. Um, let's fix this display, shall we? Press these three buttons simultaneously. Brings up this secret screen. You guys see that? Oh! Oh, the fan starts. Look at that! Amazing! It's alive! <laughs> We have airflow, airflow. Okay, so let's change this. So between, this is the keypad. Oh, so I lost it. So this is a keypad address display, 32. And the IO board, the IO board is at nothing. So combination, combined is supposed to be 33. So I'm gonna change the IO board. What do I move this down? I move it down. Press it enter and you make this one. And go one. Can't go one. Oh wait a minute. No, no, I can't. Okay, so you know what? It's a little bit tricky. Combined. So but I could probably display um display one and this one. What's going on here? A bit, it's not working. So I think this is supposed to be one, but somehow I'm not able to do that. I don't know why. So I'm gonna make this zero. The keep the keypad zero. Actually, let's try that. Thirty-one and two. That's thirty-three. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So let's go back into that so you guys could see that the replay. Combine 33. So I go 31 and 2. 31 and 2. We're good to go. Mm -hmm. So let's escape. Can I escape that? I just press enter, enter, enter. 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 Yeah, I knew it was something like that. There's a video from Stoltz on YouTube. You can watch that. Like I said, by no means I'm a Stoltz expert. I'm just a real world HVC guy. Okay. So we got fan. But it says no airflow. Alright, it's a start. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go fix all these wires. I'm gonna neaten this all up and then I'm gonna come back. All right, stay tuned. All right, there it goes. Um, got a couple of loose wires. I got to find out where they go. Got uh, three wires loose. These three wires are loose. Uh, came loose, I guess. I, I don't know. I got to figure out if I'm the schematic. This one here has a uh, number two on there. I don't know two of what. But yeah, I didn't have any zip ties on my person, so I just use uh, some electrical tape. By no means, this is not factory. But uh, and tell me what you guys think. Comment in the comment section. This is already broken. So uh, again, once I'm done, the settings um, for the unit is in the controller. So I could just unplug my, uh, my keypad and take it with me. Order a new one for the client. But yeah, yeah, there it is. Put these things back together as best as I could. Yeah, also got to figure out what they did here. You know, what did they jump? What did they just look like? Yeah, uh, one of these relays they put a shunt or something. I don't know. Got to see what that is as well. Um, yeah, let's turn the pour on and uh, bring this whole thing back up. Yeah, so I got a I got four wires loose, like I said over there. Four wires loose. I don't know what or where they are for. Or water on the floor. So I'm assuming one of those must be for the 
what the power for the water detector U U03 yeah okay so there's an alarm um so I gotta figure out where that goes I gotta find that U03 in the schematic and I think one of these wires I think probably this one but this one came loose when I was trying to put everything back together and you know tuck everything away so I think this one has to do with that 601 these three I think was already loose or maybe not I don't know oh so the fan starts up we got airflow with our fan let's see if the airflow comes up again still has no airflow water There's no airflow. So we have two alarms, we have water and we have airflow. See? Alright, so uh, yeah, let's look into this uh, no airflow and the, maybe the, the airflow has to do with one of these wires too. So I gotta check. I gotta check airflow switch. I gotta check for that U03. Alright, uh, battery in the camera is dying, so I'm gonna have to pause this video until I locate it on the drawing and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, I had found the airflow switch. And um, it turns out, it turns out the issue, the issue here was that it wasn't making the setting was off so I had to remove the cover I'm gonna show you remove the cover and I adjusted that down and so the switch is now satisfied with the amount of suction provided by the fan and now we move into another problem here where I was getting an, an alarm for the pump so I guess there's an input on this terminal block that has to do with an external pump and uh, it's just a flow switch to let the unit know there's water flow and here you can see the uh, it says cooling but um, there's something wrong with the cooling uh, the compressor did turn on but then it went off and I had pressure um, oh, there it goes. Just turned on as I hit the reset button. That's also another problem because this is not supposed to like shut everything down entirely once you hit the um, alarm reset. Like if I do this right now, the white temperature. So we have high temperature, and if I hit the alarm. Okay, you see it turns off completely. Stop completely. That's weird. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But nonetheless, this is a lot of progress. I mean, a lot of progress. If you guys like what you're seeing, if you like this video, comment in the comment section. I mean, give it a thumbs up, I you say. Um, but I've made a lot of progress on this thing. So um, if I go here, I'm sure what I did to temporarily um, override the input for the pump or the flow switch condenser water flow switch so I go here factory put in the password 318 I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off because it's gonna take me probably another one hour or so or maybe another visit to just complete this and make it perfect but I think I'm on the right track 313 318 Yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I did to get the pump alarm to go away. And that's just a flow, flow switch input. So I go down, go down to digital in. And here you have all your digital inputs. That goes back into your controller. And I scroll down to um, where it says, oh, also, 
so home okay. this is pump along and this is just if I believe this is just a input an, an input for a, a flow switch to let you know there's water flow all right so I just simply hit enter there and I and I where it says invert it was yes I changed that to no so basically that changed the input from say normally closed to normally open or vice versa and so if the input wasn't satisfied you you'll have a you'll have a fault or an alarm and if you change this it will automatically satisfy the input all right so that's just a temporary thing just to see if this thing will run it did run um, the compressor came on but it went off on high pressure uh, like right now you see we have cooling but uh I think we also have a high pressure lockout and again once I do this see right there and then see that that part I don't understand something is fun something funky is going on there right there uh, let's see if I can reset that put that switch okay so we no longer have that let's uh, clear that out it does turn off, which is just act, acting a bit wonky. Okay, so there's no more high pressure lockout. So the compressor should start on its own. Minimum off time is active right now. Okay, so the compressor is running right now. Came on. I think it's it's probably the cutoff on our head. Get my gauges on there. I mean, it's staying on longer than normal, but uh, than it usually did. The first couple of attempts. Seem like it's staying online, so that's a good sign. But still, I, I have work to do on this unit. I know that because we still have. Um, so it's cooling on the humidifying right now. It's cooling symbol dehumidifying symbol down here in the bottom but I still have some work to do on this unit but I'm gonna close this video off I think this solenoid is no good as well you can see all the bulge on the inside it wasn't sitting in the shaft properly that's the hot gas bypass solenoid you know got a magnet on there Um, but it stayed online, and I, I feel it. I'm getting cold here, so I think we're in good business so far. I think I've made great progress with this unit, you know. Um, get, get some supply your temperature reading. Looking pretty good guys I still got to figure out where these wires go and you know from the schematic gotta be careful with those I don't want to touch them to anything um, yeah put this switch back together and um, you know at least I got some cooling going on right now that's just about like it's not really great cooling, but it's cooling nonetheless. 
Maybe this thing is low in the fridge and I gotta get my gauges up, put my gauges on it, put my gauges on it, check the pressures, sub cooling, super heat, and all that jazz. It's um. Room temperature is 82 degrees, 81 degrees as per, as per uh, what this thing is reading right now. So that's about, it's not so good. 11 degrees TD, 12 degrees TD. Delta T across my call. Mm. But it's a lot of progress, man. If you like this video again, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, do so right now. Smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off. Definitely gonna do a follow up on this job. Compressor is running. Um, here's a. Oh, room temperature has cooled down significantly. Um, I gotta figure out on the drawings, schematic, what is this uh, wire here that you know was bypassing this relay K20. And uh, I gotta figure out the wire for this one, the power, for the heat detector. And you see, this is it right here, <laughs> right? I gotta, I gotta do that and I gotta figure out these wires but it's still running without it maybe that's the reason why when I hit the reset or to clear the alarm it's acting weird I don't know but I can I can unplug this keypad here and the machine will still maintain its set point okay go to controls password Cause this is coming with me, this keypad, this is mine. <laughs> 72. It's cooling down rather quickly, so I just lowered it to 70. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and put that, uh, that cover back in place so you can see the difference. So, so once again, it's not factory, but uh, I think it's a huge improvement from how I found it. Okay, there you go. I said I gotta figure out these wires out. And um, I still have to figure out the uh, flow switch input. Um, I'm just gonna wrap it up for the day. Uh, and then this wire here, that um, the previous guys bypassed from this relay. Okay. Um, so here now it should be really no alarms, but the problem is once you acknowledge the alarm, uh, it restarts the unit for some reason. That's weird. I, I don't know. It's just weird. Um, yeah. Again, don't forget to um, let me unplug this one so you guys could see that the machine will still run. And even if I shut it down, Start it, it will start right back up. There you go, it's back in line, back online. And I'm trying to find electrical tape so I can put some tape over these wires. Um, here's a compressor. So, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, video uploaded on a weekly basis.
Okay guys, I'm going to wrap this off. Sixty-two degrees, all buttoned up. All right. 